Anyone arriving in South Korea these days is immediately screened at the airport by thermal imaging cameras. A high temperature is one of the first symptoms of Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. The streets are emptier than usual. People are staying home for fear of contracting the virus. Thousands of schools were temporarily shut. In others, the children are being closely monitored. Checks like this have become routine. The MERS outbreak was triggered by a South Korean who contracted the virus on the Arabian Peninsula, where it's widespread. He infected members of his family, hospital staff, and fellow patients. The illness begins with flu-like symptoms, but it can lead to pneumonia and kidney failure. It's especially dangerous for people with chronic conditions such as diabetes and cancer. MERS is a strain of coronavirus. Usually species in the group just cause colds, but one of them also causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS. About 10 years ago, this killed some 800 people around the world in a matter of months. MERS can also be fatal. It's also known as camel flu, since it's mainly found in dromedaries. This is why people are most likely to become infected in places where camels are kept. The animals themselves are unaffected by the virus. Dromedaries are most likely to infect people through respiratory secretions and infected milk. Researchers suspect that it's no coincidence that the outbreak occurred in spring, when juvenile camels are separated from their mothers and brought into more contact with humans. That's when the virus suddenly began to spread dramatically. The World Health Organization hasn't wasted time. In early June, it announced it would be working closely with South Korea to stop the outbreak. Scientists from Germany and the Netherlands hope it won't be long before they have an effective way of tackling MERS. They developed a vaccine last year that was successfully tested on mice. The next step is clinical trials. Set to begin in 2016, they'll be overseen in Hamburg by Marilyn Addo.